summertime and the living is easy i'm not a singer but it's summertime we're gonna have some fun so let's get into this decor time okay kings and queens this portion of the video we're gonna make a summertime drink i've made this drink several times but we're gonna substitute one of the items with something else i haven't made this particular one on here though now this portion is also budget friendly because in the summertime you might have somebody come over you know a lot of people tend to drop by and if you you want to make sure you have enough without breaking the bank so let me just show you here you could just keep with whatever theme you have like I'm going with the orange here because I already had you know an orange mat this basket was a gift from a Wyme, um group that I was asked to be in which was nice now also this is inexpensive i got this from audi's this wine and this is a sangria this wine you could get this wine for like maybe four or five dollars you don't have to break the bank also the orange theme long as you keep it with the color scheme make it look pretty and then these napkins i got from the dollar tree it has that orange in there now these sparkling white grape juices they are delicious from the dollar tree as well now let me show you what we're going to need to make this drink oh kings and queens the only thing is not really budget friendly i would say invest in you one of these little canisters you get them at the at-home store target macy's wherever but because you could have them for years but let's just say we're going to keep this budget friendly so i have an alternative for you as well you can also pick these up they do have these at the dollar tree and they have them in different colors and i've used these several times as well just if you know just to keep it budget friendly okay these are the ingredients you will need for this drink you want to make sure you have the red grapes Make sure you had a red grapes and just wash them off because you had a white wine over there. The white grapes over there. I'm sorry, the white sparkling grape juice. So you want to make sure you have the red grapes. That's going to balance it out. Try to get you some frozen blueberries. You want to cut half of them and leave half of them whole. Whole so they could be nice and frozen and cold even though we're going to put them in the refrigerator just so they can stay cold longer but you want to make sure you cut some of these up so that um the flavor could really blend into the drink now you also want to get you some limeade it could be a lime substitute now you are this one they actually sell at the dollar tree check out my dollar tree hauls this actually tastes kind of like when you go to the mexican restaurants y'all know i'm always going out to eat somewhere but it, it tastes kind of like when you go into the Mexican restaurants. I was pleasantly surprised and I've used it several times. So you can pick that up at the Dollar Tree as well. And you need this, you all, because you have a lot of sweet going on. And Sangria itself is a sweeter wine. Now wines, you have different potencies to wine. Sangria is not really mild and, and is not really, really strong. So this is just a nice little mm, medium drink okay and then pick you up some of these just to garnish the glasses or the cups to make them look pretty okay i have everything prepped and open now i usually do this with watermelons instead of blueberries kings and queens but i wanted to see how it would taste without the watermelon because um blueberries very great antioxidant very great for our health health as well and um here in michigan it's been um the weather's been changing so much so i hope it tastes great with these blueberries because it might be a permanent substitute <laughs> 
So the ones I want to cut up, I already cut all of these in half. The ones that are going in, like I said, is just going to mix in. And then the rest of the fruit over here, just washed and prep, And we're going to put that in. Okay, so you all, please forgive me. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Because... <laughs> This video is not supposed to go for 15 minutes for this marathon. All right, so you want to make sure you add the whole bottle of wine. Add it all, you all, because it's not going to be fill up this whole thing. Just to give you a tip, a whole bottle of this wine will go into that little one that I showed you all that you could purchase at the Dollar Tree. So that's a tip for you. So if you're making it for a lot of people, you know you're going to need more wine. Okay? So you just double the amount. This juice is so delicious. If a person don't drink, if they're, um, you know, non-alcoholic, you can just give them this juice by yourself and make it pretty and put it in their glass. These juices taste that delicious. Okay. Now this you want to do to taste. Usually I do a fourth of this for one bottle of wine. As you have to balance out some of that sweetness. Kings and queens. Okay. So to go with the theme, I had a, this orange cup you all have seen quite a few times. Um, I think I picked them up at either. Target dollar little you know they had a one to five dollar item or party city I forgot I picked this up years ago and then I used those little umbrellas that I picked up at the Dollar Tree okay well that one fell so <laughs> just give it a quick little stir you want to make sure you let this sit in your fridge for at least an hour before you serve it. Okay, kings and queens. Okay, kings and queens, before I continue, I wanted to pause and let you all know that this video is hosted by Shanji at Shanji's Home Decor and Lifestyle, and it is part of the Summer Around the Clock Home decor -thon. So that's how we bring you all the, of the summer, summer around the clock, it's a marathon. Now, she invited five of us ladies to participate with her. Thank you again, Shanji. All right. Now, this is how it goes. After you watch my video, then you will go to the next lady video. The next lady is my girl, Tam, and her channel is Love My Babies Forever. So after you watch this video, you will hop to her video. I'll have each lady in my description box below. Then after her video um finish then you're going to go over to living better with style and after that you're going to go to shiny on the spot make sure after you watch this if you haven't already came from glam queen of diy also go to glam queen of diy and also back to shanji's video okay so after shiny video airs it will be a playlist so you can watch everything so you can get some inspiration for the summertime for home decor we want you all to be inspired and happy this is my time of year kings and queens i love summer birthday month next month okay so remember to check out all of the ladies enjoy our summer decor and before i go any further today is father's day kings and queens sometimes i get energetic but my dad told me to continue to show your personality baby so happy Father's Day, Daddy. I love you. You all, you do watch some of my videos too. That's, that's my heart. That's my king. I love you, Dad. So I will see you later on. Let's continue with the home decor. So there's a lot going on this summer. And um, I've been working on these pieces. I made these pieces here. And... And I'm in my craft room, you all. Roses are so in for the summer. Um, it's not finished, but I just wanted to show you a little preview 
of a few of the items that I am working on. I also have one with the um, lavender ball. And a few more other items. Okay, you are added more to this vase because let me go in closer. Because as you can see, once I added on my um, kissing ball with my white florals, it didn't match with the silver vase. So I have white, silver, and bling. So I wanted to tie them together. So what I did, I added these white embellishments with the clear in the middle, the silver bling, to tie in with this white here. And also to tie in with this silver bling. So once I added them sparingly throughout the vase, it tied the whole centerpiece together. Now, if I didn't have the topper, I could have just kept it just like this because I think it's just so pretty just like this too. Just with the strip of embellishment that I added down the center. I think that's so pretty. But once you add that topper, I had to make it flow so it could look like it go together. So I was thinking of, this is what I was dealing with. Now, these wouldn't have gave it as much. So I did the white ones that way. It tied them all in together. Kings and Queens. Okay, kings and queens, so I kept the table really simple, budget friendly. The only thing that's not budget friendly is the tablecloth. Everything else, the chargers you've seen before, they're just the silver chargers I've used on another tablescape from the Dollar Tree. It has a little silver sparkles in there. And then these plates and saucers, they were inexpensive, but go so nicely with the thing the orange you are summertime here's that drink I made it turned out really good with the blueberries kings and queens it tastes delicious I like it better with the watermelon but it still tastes also oh delicious okay and then this centerpiece you all have seen uh, months ago I had it in another tablescape that I made. Now you all, the reason I chose to do orange is Father's Day and I lost my cousin. Shout out to you, Raymond. His favorite color was orange and for his funeral last month, everybody wore orange. So shout out to you, my cousin. All right, also, Just nice and simple. Oh, to tie in the little blue around the plates, I put those blue umbrellas on the cups over here. Just to kind of tie it in a little bit. Cause it's just really nice and fun for the summertime. So everybody could just think happy, positive thoughts and have fun. Cause summertime is my birthday month next month and my time of year. Thank you for watching beautiful kings and queens. Remember, enjoy this beautiful life we are given. Like, share, and subscribe. When you become blessed, bless somebody else. Love is the main key. I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.